Thank you for joining us tonight. People who live in Baraboo are coming up with solutions tonight to try and move past the photo controversy that started earlier this week. Our Amy Reed sat with them during a community forum they held earlier, and she joins us now live from Baraboo to show us what people are hoping to change. Amy? There were a lot of different viewpoints in here tonight. Some people saying this photo is a poor representation of Baraboo, and others thinking this is evidence of a larger problem. Either way, both perspectives met here tonight with one common goal, make Baraboo better. I can only speculate uh, what these young people's intents are. In a completely grassroots movement, the community of Baraboo came together tonight, hoping to find solutions and a path forward after a photo of teenage boys from Baraboo High School went viral. It's uh, gotten quite a bit uh, carried away, I'd say. Stephen Beckett has lived in Baraboo for 35 years. He said the photo that many people are calling racist is not a good representation of the town he lives in and loves. People are always looking out for each other and doing things with each other and this just got kind of taken by uh, surprise. It's not surprising, it's not shocking. Tina Warner disagrees. She moved here 10 years ago and as a military woman she's lived all over the world. Her being ho-chunk was never a problem. And once I moved here and started experiencing racism, I was kind of a couple steps back. She said now her foster kids are in high school, she wants to do something about it. And change is something many people here agreed on. The organizers split them into groups to talk about three things they want to accomplish as a town to recover from this. People wrote down their wishes and worked them out amongst each other. And I want all these people that don't have a voice because something bad finally happened, now they have a voice. Some happy this finally gave an opportunity to shine light on problems. As a big group again, the team leader shared their thoughts as a whole, posting them on large pages on the walls. They agreed consequences need to happen and that we all need to listen to each other to work together to move on. The people there tonight were optimistic that this will affect some change, but if this one doesn't, there are other opportunities in the future as other community leaders and this city plan for future forums. Truly a testament to how much this community cares about the people who live here and how much they want to improve. Amy Reed, live tonight in Baraboo. Amy, thank you. Baraboo